did Auburn really think they was gonna beat Georgia? <laughs> Bo Nix was running all over that field for his life. Tank Bigsby didn't even have a hundred yards rushing. I told you that defensive line was going to hold him. Trying to get the cat off the roof. Georgia's defense dominated that whole game. Now, Kirby Smart needs to go back to the drawing board with these defensive backs. Now, Auburn did get passes off and hit receivers. Because the defensive backs was giving them too much space. That has to be cleared up before the Kentucky game. Why do our defensive backs play too far off the line of scrimmage? Why aren't they playing tight coverage? I, you know, I don't understand that. Uh, we never play on the receivers. Our DBs, it seems like, always give these receivers five, six, seven, eight yards. And that's why they was getting burnt. Leaving receivers wide open. And I'm going to tell you another thing. Auburn drove downfield, got down in the red zone, Bo Nix drops the ball, picks the ball up, gets hit by our linebackers, defensive line, drops the ball, and they call it an incomplete pass. Now, somebody tell me how that works how I'm not even gonna say how that was a fumble Georgia recovered it should have been Georgia's ball right then and there the refs made a bad call Auburn got lucky now, we got lucky because we held them to three points. They could have scored. To me, I think half of these referees in these games don't know nothing about football I think they just try to find somebody to put out there to referee these ball games but I did tell you in one of my videos that Bo Nix Bo Nix 
was going to be running for his life getting away from that defensive line. And I said, and I'll say it again, it is going to be hard for teams to score on that defense. That is the number one defense in the country. Granted, they finally ended up scoring a touchdown off a of Tank Bigsby run. But, Georgia should have had him stopped in the backfield. But what does he do? He bounces off the line and runs to the outside. Touchdown. But Auburn, did y'all really think y'all was going to win this game in the Plains playing the number two team in the country? Not a chance. Now, if Alabama barely beats Texas A&M tonight, and I'll be watching that game, if they barely beat Texas A&M, Georgia should move to number one. Alabama should drop to number two or number three. Georgia has played lights out all season. Kirby Smart has turned this team, this defense around. And I said it in my other videos. I haven't seen Georgia's defense play like this in a long time. Except back when Tim Jennings and Greg Blue and Thomas Davis played. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm a big time Georgia fan. I didn't go to Georgia. I've had family go to Georgia, graduate from Georgia. But I've been a dog fan all my life. Stetson Bennett has actually showed up these past two games. What a play. Two plays hit McConkey downfield for about a 40-something, 50-yard pass. And actually, one of them was for a touchdown. The first one should have been for a touchdown, but he slightly underthrew him. And I'm going to tell you, that lad McConkey's going to be something. That kid has proven why he should be on the field every play. How about them dogs, baby? They came to the plains and they came to play. They quieted that Auburn Stadium. You could just see the fans. Their faces just started dropping they knew that game was over and our running game now our running game didn't do so good the first half but towards the end of the game <laughs> they showed out when they needed to and I'm gonna tell you Zeus he wasn't getting denied when he ran that touchdown in. Y'all do me a favor. If you ain't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below, that notification and that bell. 
and hit that share button. I sure appreciate it. You hit that notification bell and every time I make a video, it'll notify you and you can watch all my videos that I make. I do make football videos every week and every weekend. And I also do live chat, live stream during ball games. So y'all come on over, join my live chat and let's watch some football. Uh, Oklahoma should have lost. I thought Texas was going to take them down. And that one play, Oklahoma runs it up the sideline for a touchdown to win the game. I would have liked to seen Oklahoma lose and drop out of the top ten, which they would have. Arkansas about beat Ole Miss, but they failed to make the two-point conversion. And I'm going to tell you, teams better watch out for Arkansas next year. Sam Pittman has turned that team around in two years. You give him next year, and they going to be a team to be reckoned with. He has, he's going to have the, that coaching staff in place like Kirby Smart does to start winning big time. Now, in the West, I believe, of course, Alabama be top of the West. Ole Miss would be number two. Arkansas would be number three. And you'll probably have Auburn at number four. Auburn, 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 Auburn. Did y'all really think y'all had the players to defeat Georgia? Look at that. I'm going to admit I was a little on my toes for a little while. But I knew y'all wasn't going to win. Demetrius Robertson. How did it feel to lose to your former teammates? Should have stayed at Georgia. You should have still been a dog. Mm, mm, mm. I appreciate everybody that watches my channel and tunes in. I appreciate it a lot. Y'all feel free to leave some comments down below and let me know what y'all thought of the Auburn-Georgia game and other games that went on today. And I'll be sure to respond to them as soon as I see them. Now, Alabama, Texas A&M play at 8 o'clock tonight. Texas A&M's not going to hang with Alabama. They might get a field goal or a touchdown. They might get two field goals. But they're not going to beat Alabama. Alabama is like Georgia. They're too tough to score on. They got a bad defense too. 
Not as quite good as Georgia. But they have a defense too. So, Texas A&M loses that game. And I believe they're playing in Texas. Florida versus Vandy. We all knew that wasn't going to be a game. Vandy is like a high school. <laughs> a high school team could beat them right now. Put a high school team on the field with them. And they'll probably lose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I know one thing, whatever Kirby Smart said to that team at halftime, they came out second half to play and end this game. I'm going to go get ready to watch the Alabama-Texas A&M game. And I'll do a halftime report on that as well. I appreciate y'all watching my video. Y'all stay tuned for my halftime report at uh, Alabama versus Texas A&M. Y'all have a great Saturday night. God bless. And go dogs. <laughs>